Hey YouTube, this is FireWizard23, and welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Glory 2, The Trial by Fire, where we are going to cast the Detect Magic Spell. And we'll find the door to wit again. Let's cast open to get inside, because we need to take the test of wit. Who do you call upon to be your sponsor and mentor in these halls hall, hallowed halls of the Wizards Institute of Technoxery? Okay, so we need to pick someone who's going to be our sponsor and or our teacher, and the game, for some reason, does not allow me to ask about this. But we have some pictures around here, maybe we can pick one, let's see. The portrait shows Harry Houdini in a typical state of intense concentration. The portrait is politely formal, befitting Aziza the Enchantress. A portrait shows a wizard with a severe nature. He appears totally humorous. The picture is entirely black. Ooh. Like most of the wizards, Zara's expression is serious and intent. She shows little propensity towards humor. The portrait of Erasmus appears to be a duplicate of the one you remember hanging in his house on Zalbaberg. You think that perhaps he has a few more crinkles around his eyes. You always wondered what Arana looked like. She reminds you of Janesta, a fairy you once knew. That's funny. He doesn't look like anything like the way Peter Ledger drew him in Conquest of Camelot. That's a Merlin. So who can we... Oh, people just want to see funny messages here. I know they do. Let's uh, say Houdini. That is not an appropriate sponsor. Houdini? No N? There we go. Houdini! Prestidigitator paramount of faraway lands! Master of escape! Do you accept Fire Wizard 23 to be your initiate into the Wizard's Institute of Technoxery? You hear a man's distant voice, apparently under great stress. Er, I'm uh, a bit tied up at the moment. Uh, the, the name escapes me. Now, you really must excuse me. <coughs> me. You must choose another sponsor. Uh, how about uh, Merlin? Triz Magister Merlin Abrosius, Wizard of the Isle of Grammaire. Do you accept Fire Wizard 23 to be your initiate into the Wizard's Institute of Technoxery? Uh, have we met before? N no, I don't believe so. Sorry. You must choose another sponsor. Uh, oh, maybe uh, Aziza will. She th she thinks we're cool, right? Actually, being a fire wizard, I probably would never say this ever, but all right, Aziza. Aziza, Enchantress of Shapir, Wizard of Water. Do you accept Fire Wizard 23 to be your initiate into the Wizards Institute of Technoxery? Hell no. <laughs> I cannot pass judgment upon the candidate until I have worked with him for some months. I am unwilling to have someone I do not know well as my initiate. You must choose another sponsor. Um. Uh, Iran? Oh, uh. How about Irana? To our regret, she has not answered our summons for many years. You must choose another sponsor. Uh, how about Zara, that wizard that we bought the spells from in the first game? She must want to, right? Zara Shashina, wizard of the Eastern Woods, emissary of the fairy folk. Do you accept Fire Wizard 23 to be your initiate into the Wizards Institute of Technoxery? Hmm. Outside of the few spells I gave him, I have no knowledge of his skills or abilities. I will not accept responsibility for him. You must choose another sponsor. A little bit of a game spoiler here, but I'm going to ask for this uh, gentleman over here whose name is Ad Avis. Ad Avis, Wizard of the Southern Sands, Enchanter of the Elements. Do you accept Fire Wizard 23 to be your initiate into the Wizard's Institute of Technoxery? You're a man's deep and voice, deep and sonor sonorous. So, a want-to-be wizard seeks me for a master. I am not interested in half-trained novices. However, should you actually become a wizard, you might be of use to me. There is much I can teach you. Until that time, find someone else to paper train you. You must choose another sponsor. So, there is but one person left. And thinking about it logically, we need we need someone to be our teacher and mentor. So that's someone who's actually seen us use our skills in action. And there's only been one wizard who's ever seen that. And that is Erasmus. There is a moment of silence. Do you actually request such a whimsical wizard to be your sponsor? It was the choice he made. But you know what Erasmus is like. Do we have to endure his sense of levity? It was the initiate's decision. Let him abide with it. Very well. Master Erasmus of Zabberberg, Archmage Extraordinaire, do you accept Fire Wizard 23 to be your initiate into the Wizards Institute of Technoxery? You know, this is like when you're hunting for a job, you know, you leave so many references and you're just hoping they say good things. I mean, you should leave references of good people who know you and stuff, but you just hope they say good things about you. You hear the familiar voice of Erasmus. 
Let me see. Fire was a 23. Ah, yes! The young hero who was so bright. You hear the squeaky voice of Fenris. You think anyone who laughs at one of your jokes is to be intelligent? A good sense of humor is an excellent indicator of superior intellect. Yes, but the keyword is good. Hehe. <laughs> Erasmus! Do you or do you not accept fire was a 23? I, Master Magister Erasmus of Zollerberg, do you hereby accept fire was a 23 as my initiate for wit? Good move. Wizards Institute of Technoxory! Of course. Now, hero now, hero of Spielberg, before you can be initiated into wit, Wizards Institute of Technoxory. Wizards Institute of Technoxory, you f must first prove you are magically and mentally worthy. You will be presented with a choice of three objects. Using the spells at your command, you must choose the correct object, move it to the stand, and cause it to ring using only three spells. The choice of the first two spells should be self evident, and the third is also Erasmus! Oh, all right. Well, good luck, young hero, and remember the joke about the man who grew more mellower as he grew bolder. He no longer had any harebrained schemes? No, he no longer had such a hair-triggered temper. Erasmus! Very well then, young hero. Please step into the dark room. Purely a formality. Don't worry about a thing. Ouch! My nose! You find yourself in a strange place. For some reason, you cannot move your legs, although you see nothing constraining them. A strange feeling passes through you, as though someone were examining you closely. Okay, so we gotta take one of these bells, put it on the stand, and make it ring. Uh, let's figure out which bell it is, because we probably would cast Detect Magic. Oh, it's that bell. So let's cast the Fetch spell on that bell. Put it on. And we need to make it ring. See, now my first thought would be to use the Force Bolt spell to simply impact it and make it ring, but apparently you're supposed to cast the Trigger spell. BAM! Erasmus and Fenris' names. Very good, Fire Wizard 23. You have shown yourself very capable of figuring out the spells needed for the pretest. However, before you can be considered a true wizard, you must pass the trial of initiation which the Wizards of Wit will give you. I warn you, this test will take all of your wits and magical skills in order to succeed. If you succeed, you will then face... But I can say no more. Say no more! So, hero, good luck. Promises, promises. You said he would say no more. <laughs> oh, Fenris. Good luck, Fire Wizard 23. Ugh. You have shown yourself to be resourceful in your use of spells under simple conditions. To become a wizard, you must prove that you are capable of using magic under time-critical and life-threatening conditions. You will be presented with a series of four tests. They will require all of your intelligence and magic. Should you fail, your very life may be endangered. Will you accept the challenge and walk the path of wizardry? wizardry. Hell yeah. And here we are. You find yourself walking on a narrow pathway leading to the edge of infinity. You hear only your own footsteps. And here we are. Folks, it is time for the test of wit. Oh! Oh, an air wizard. You must now stand against the wind. Uh, look. Oh, look. Oh, that's a uh, look. Staff. The wizard staff spins faster and faster. Maybe we gotta move. Maybe if we cast fetch and just pull it towards us. Let's cast levitate. Our first time using it. Let's go up. Get away from that staff. Uh, oh, so it can go past us. Okay. Woo! We did it. Must be the air test. One down, three to go. You must now face raging earth and stone. Oh, uh, look, stone. Oh, look, stone. Sorry about this. What? <laughs> look, rock? Okay, you don't see anything. What the hell is this, then? Okay, the wall is made of earth. Wait, how can I see? Look, look earth? Uh, what the? <sighs> climb over? Yeah, we'll just climb over it. <laughs> it's too slippery to climb. Well, that's just great. Um, This is a magical test, so I wonder if there's something magical about this wall. Yeah, because, you know, levitating over, that'd be too easy. What if I cast trigger? Doing a little bit of logic here, I wonder if there's a trigger on this thing. hey -ah! Oh! Uh, some kind of creature. Can we calm the creature down? Cl 
climb over? Can I climb over it now? Okay. Yeah! Oh! Cast come again! Cast it again! Come down! And somehow that kills him. Whew! Two down, two to go. You must now overcome the subtle strengths of water subtle strengths of water and ice. Okay, water and ice test. Oh. Look ice. It's a gigantic piece of ice blocking the path. Oh yeah? You're done, Ice. I'm gonna cast a flame dart spell. Yeah. Fire! Oh. You seem to have melted the hoarfrost. Now you can see if the iceberg is fractured. Well, casting fire, it's gonna take me forever to melt this thing, so what if I tried go in that crack? How about I cast the forced bolt spell? The forced bolt. Right? There. Ricochets, start pushing it apart. Let's try it again. That one more will do it. Ha! Yes! It's water. One more test left. The fire test. The fire wizard! Eee! You must now withstand the fury of my flames. Oh, a door. Hmm. Can we cast... Open? Let's uh, open the door. Probably should do this magically. With the door open, the he flame... The fire's heat is more intense. Let's cast the calm spell and calm the fire down. Let's cast the fetch. The flames have died down, only to reveal a hole burned into the pathway. Let's cast fetch, grab the door. Close the door. Say, have you figured this out, or are you just playing by ear? No. Let's cast force bolt and knock the door over. Yes! Walk over the door. We did it! You did it! You're at wit's end! You have proven yourself worthy of, a wiz of the Wizards Institute of Technoxery and Erasmus's faith. Congratulations. You are now a wizard initiate. Now you have outgrown the childish hero business and can devote yourself to years of metaphysical musings and esoteric exercises designed to invigorate your intellect and to manipulate your mental and magical muscles. You have passed the stage from the lesser mortal plane into the realm of wizards. You are now qualified to begin your postgraduate magical training. In 15 or 20 years, you will be ready to return to the world of mere men. Until that time, you will bask in the sunshine and security of academia, knowing you shall receive the best of all possible educations. Ahead of you are the wonders of wizardry. Behind you are all the petty problems inherent in the mundane land. You have passed beyond those weaklings who depended on your skills and dared to call you friend. You will now learn the real magic of the Wizards Institute of Technoxery, knowledge gained through careful study. Walk away from the world of those fools who claim they need you. You are more than just a hero now, you are a scholar. You have only to take the oath that you will ignore and forget about those who have said they needed you in the land of Shapir, and devote yourself to the improvement of your mind and magic. Will you take the oath? Well, folks, I'm a hero. And the truth is, if you actually say yes, the game will end because you will not be part of Shapir anymore. My answer is no. Well, it is obvious you think being a hero is more important than being a scholar. Perhaps someday when you have matured a bit, you will comprehend the enormity of the education you have ignored. The Wizards Institute of Technoxery is for the for real wizards rather than the real world. And they teleport away. Congratulations, Wizard Fire Wizard 23. You have shown exceptional intellect by refusing to take their silly oath. After all, what good is magic or knowledge unless you use it? My graduation present for you is the reversal spell. You may recall the kobold's use of it against you in Spielberg, which did actually happen during my first my let's play the first game. Cast reversal and magical attacks directed at you will rebound to their caster, but take care. It will not help against the indirect effects of other spells. You feel the thrill of knowledge. Now you know how to cast the spell of reversal. You should now return to Shapir. They really need a real wizard hero like you there. And remember, those who can, do. Those that can't tell others what to do? Fenris, when is a rat not a rat? When it turns into its rat hole? No, when it's eradicated. So what did the rat say when he fell 12,000 feet straight down? It's a long way to tip a ratty, or maybe cheese it. I swear I hadn't gone to death. This way. All right. What did the rat say? I'm not sure either, but I know a way to find out. Care to volunteer? I guess I blew it. I try to be good for a while, right? Right. At any rate, wizard hero, good luck and farewell. And we are teleported out of wit. We did it. We are now a wizard. And that should have definitely 
buffed our magic stats. Yeah, it definitely buffed our magic a little bit to castle that. Oh, wow, I totally ran out of power. Oh, wow. I used all my stamina that time, and I actually did eat a Vigor Pill prior to coming here. Uh, let's, before we even start, eat a Vigor Pill. Actually, what time is it? It's mid afternoon. Eat Power Pill. Eat. What? Eat Power Pill? What? What kind of pill do I have? Mana Pill! Eat Mana Pill! Okay, so we're all. We're all buff up now. Buff, buffed up now. Okay. So we're going to save it as we finish the test of wit. It's been a kind of a long episode, but that's a big thing to go through. So we have finished wit. We are now a wizard. So, what shall the wizard do the next time? This is Fire Wizard 23. Take care and bye bye for now, everybody.